I haven't heard anything about Mr. Crowley recently, so what could you possibly want? Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. The ghoul? He's dead. Died twenty years ago. Good riddance, too. I hate those shufflers. Who cares? I hired some mercenaries to get me some equipment from Fort Constantine. He was one of them. Of the five, only three survived. You'll have to ask one of them if you want the gory details. He's alive? I should have known. It's hard to kill those zombies. You've got to shoot him in the head. Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. An honest mercenary? Who would have thought? Guards!
I'm on duty. Make it quick. Bye. Who the hell are you? Never mind. You need a drink. Jerry, I'm thirsty over here. Ha <laughs> ha! They're my party girls. I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two. <laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> Hey, watch your language, clown shoes. I don't pay them. They take care of me, so I take care of them. We rub each other wrong all night long. <laughs> He's fucking dead, that's what I can tell you. Feral ghouls ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Uh, a little shithole called Fort Constantine. It fucked us up, but good. It's northwest of here, numbnuts. A long fucking walk, too. Wankers like you can't get in, though. Eh? You need a special set of keys. Ten Penny hired us as mercs. He wanted some fancy fucking gun. Don't know how we got Crowley to sign on. Ten penny fucking hates ghouls. Haha, <laughs> no clown shoes. Ten penny hire a whole fucking team. Stray, Crowley, Tara, Dave, and me. Tara had a pair on her. Haha, <laughs> sweet Jesus, they were nice. Haha. <laughs> that place fucked her up more than I did, huh? The rest of us went our separate ways after that. So, the meat bag is alive, huh? And I bet I know what he wants. But I don't know what you want. What's your angle, clown shoes? You need all the keys to get through that fucking fort. Since I've only got one, no point in my going back there. If you want that key, I need to see your caps on the table, clown shoes. Ha <laughs> ha! You got some big brass ones, you know that? And fuck me if I don't think you could do it. Here. Take this key. It's all he really wants anyway. Now go fuck yourself before I change my mind!
It's kind of late to be entering the Republic. This is the Republic of Dave. Duh. It's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. President Daddy, there's a Wastelander who wishes to see you, sir. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? You are? Excellent. It's good to see that the Wasteland has finally recognized the Sovereign Republic of Dave. If the people of the Wasteland are generous and respectful, I might deign to annex them. There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. Would you consider taking him a personal item, like this key, and just telling him you killed me? You need all the keys to get through Fort Constantine. With only one key, there's no point in my going back. Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Well then, there you go. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. What now? Very well.
I'm sure she'll just scrounge stuff from the lower deck. You need me? For what? I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. So long. Ted Strayer. You can chill with me if you want, dude. You mean... like fix stuff? Nah. I just hang out, dude. I've got enough chems to last a while. Oh yeah. Whoa. That's a blast from the past. My dad knew a dude named Crowley. I never met him, though. I think Dad said he died when they were checking out some old fort. Nah. He said that old man Tenpenny hired him and some other guys to go in there, but he never said why. My dad made enough caps off it to set him up good, though. Everybody knows he runs Tenpenny Tower, but I never met the dude. I swear. Whoa, is this like worth caps? Cause I got needs, man. Uh, sure dude. I don't know what it's for anyway. Don't need to get all thug-like.
discuss something rather important. The issue at hand is... Hello, Capital Wasteland. This is Three Dog. Ow! Coming to you loud and proud from Galaxy News Radio. Let me ask you something, children. You hungry for some 200-year-old Salisbury steak? Are you hungry for some news? I'm guessing... Are they all dead yet? <laughs> Did you bring me any proof? Not too long ago, I reported that a cat recently left Vault 101. His name is James. Good guy. Yes, but yes, now, yes. Another back. bigot got bites the dust. That says someone else has just climbed out of that hole. What the hell is going on down there? Revolution? That wasn't the plan. Vacation. I suppose I have to pay for Somebody the key anyway, though. Here. Your guess is as good as mine, kiddies. Until next time, this is three dogs. I thought I told you to kill him. That rat bastard is still alive. I'll pay for the key, but you really screwed up. And now a super important public service announcement. Don't I'll pay you for the key. But I'm very disappointed. And now, some music. Right. You're just a lying bigot like all humans. Well, they may not all be dead, but I have the keys. I should have hired a better mercenary. Run along. I have a trip to plan.